Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton. I am continuing the Rocky Mountain Tournament Rookie Division, holes number four, five, and six. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's awesome that you're here. Please take a moment to hit that thumbs up button. And if everybody would hit the subscribe button, that would be awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into the replays here. Hole number four, difficult par three to get this one right. Now, I do wanna say right off the bat here that if you play this one too high up on the rough or if you accidentally use overpower, um, you could send yourself a flyer. So be very, very careful with this shot. Here you're gonna see I'm going with backspin combined with one bar of side spin to the right. This is not um, a dialed in shot yet. I'm struggling here to find a good rough bump that's gonna play consistently, but this one is close enough that hopefully you can get it dialed in, but again, um, you're going to have to practice this hole because you don't want to set up on the wrong part of the rough or, again, um, accidentally use overpower and send yourself a flyer. Here you do see I hit the right part of the rough. However, I'm going too far to the right. Uh, speed is okay. We would like to slow it down a little bit, but that shot is going to need some work as the tournament moves on. I know we have a lot of skilled players in here. Uh, if you read the comments, or if you don't read the comments, you might want to take a look as some people might start to post what is working well for them. All right, hole number five. We're going to go 0% at max with the katana. We're going to go two bars of side spin to the right, four and a half bars of top spin. Here I'm going to set up at like the, you know, the plus yard mark is going to be at the plus three. So taking quite a bit off of max just so that when I push my rings here, you can see I'm pushing all the way up to the plus 11, which I do believe happens to be max with the P2 ball. So that's why I start low so that when I push up, you know, my shot's going to be 100% accurate as long as I hit a perfect ball, which I did here. That'll take us to shot number two. Shot number two, I do drop the eagle here, which is nice. Playing at 0% at mid, I'm going to go ahead and set my spins first. I'm going to go right at 4.9 back with about 0.1 bars to the right, which you can see. From here, I do hit that perfect shot, and like I said, I do get a nice little drop here. Probably going to be a more difficult uh, hole to eagle, but, you know, do you pick it up? So that's going to be always nice. And then I do cap off hole number six here with an albatross as well. Now, you know, this is a situation to where I'm going to go ahead and pull out the berserker ball and see what I can do here. This is a brand new course. So I've kind of got to just, you know, play the wind angles as I would if I was in a final round, just so that I can learn, you know, how this course plays. So extra mile eight, I'm going to go berserker. I'm going to launch one here with six top. And I do believe I go two bars a side spin to the right. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, six top, two right. You're going to see that I'm stretching my club out. Trying to see if I can just roll out of this rough, which I can. You can see I get my very end of my ball guy line there out of the rough onto the fairway. So that's what I'm looking for when I stretch my club. Once I find that position, I go ahead and pull my rings. And then I let this ball rip. This was the perfect amount of overpower. As you can see here, we're going to come straight through roll out of the rough almost too far almost too far extra mile level nine players you could probably go with a titan ball here or a power of four ball but that's going to take us a shot number two in which we're taking it with a thorn i played this one zero percent at 80 percent slider so i did set my spins here and then found the landing position here i'm going to go where i said about 2.8 back and about 0.7 left okay like I said, though, I played it 80% slider, 0% elevation. That happens to be the same thing as 15% at mid. I don't talk about sliders too much, but I was trying to dial in this shot in practice mode. I dropped it in practice. Okay, now you can see here this is not practice, so this is the real deal. I also dropped it in the real deal. Um, both times it came out to be 80% slider. It also worked out to be the exact same thing if you were to play at 15% at mid. So 
That's how I'm playing hole number six here. Like I said, I pick up the albatross. It is a more difficult drive to get your ball all the way up the fairway like I do. It's probably going to take a perfect shot. A great right would probably stick you into the rough. But I am able to get it there, and we'll take a look at what the wind angles bring in the next rounds and see what we have to do strategy-wise on this hole. But tailwind, I'm going to go ahead and let it rip, and it did work out at the end of the day. That's holes four, five, and six. Two drops there. Best of luck, everybody.